Hello once again, all you beautiful, beautiful people. Mahal kokayong lahat, mabuhay. Mahal kokayong lahat means I love you all, and mabuhay is long live or long life. It's a blessing when people greet each other in the Philippines. I'm flexing my vernacular. Anyways, how's everybody doing? I'm doing fairly splendid. I've been better, but I've been worse. Um, today I'm munching down on a little Filipino style treat. Sardines and rice. The rice is a coconut ginger rice. The sardines are in Louisiana hot sauce. But the real star of the show today is something I've been waiting all week to try. Literally seven days. On Saturday, I made this, and I set it in my refrigerator, and I waited patiently. Two days passed, and I was like, I gotta try one now. Four days passed, I can't take it anymore. But today's the day. Can you see those bad boys floating in there? Well, what I got here is, I made a fresh batch of Sao Saoan, and I decided to put boiled eggs in it and pickle the eggs in the Sao Saoan. I used uh, Datu Puti seasoned spiced vinegar this time, whereas in this Sasawan I used a just a regular Datu Puti, and it's colored by the onions, which I'm hoping happened to the eggs. I hope the eggs are a nice color. So without further ado, let me fish a couple of these out of here. Uh, I hope I hope it turned out. The way I imagined. And there is a fly flying around here that I want to kill so badly. But it can wait. Oh, look. Look. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't put the fork through enough. There we go. Get some of that off of there. Man, look at that. Look at that. It's poiple. <laughs> I'm going to try it just like it is. I'm not going to put anything extra on it. And it feels tough, which is what I expected. Let's eat. Mmm. <laughs> Look, that soaked all the way through. Yeah. I used to take the pickle juice after I was done with a jar of pickles and then I'd boil some eggs and put them in there. They come out green. It basically tasted like pickles. But sao sao is something extra. That is really good. Mm. got 12 of them in here. I'm going to put two on my plate. Yeah. And then my semi-silent partner in crime, Eileen, had suggested one time to put Sasawin, Sasawin, got to remember to pronounce that first W, to put that on the eggs, I mean on the uh, fish and rice. And I did that and it was magnificent. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just put a little bit on there. Just a little, a little bit of the juice. Yes. I'm in love with this dipping sauce. I really like it. It's different for sure. Okay, once again, now for the main course. Let's eat. Mmm. Rice is pretty damn magnificent.
in fact, that ginger and coconut flavor, that would make a really good sweet rice. If I added some sugar to that and some milk, arroz con leche, you know, yeah, that would be awesome. I think I'm going to try that next. I hope to make it out to the Philippines one day. I'm just... I just feel madly in love with the culture. Not to mention a certain somebody out there. That egg is fully flavored, let me tell you. That's a whole different flavor scheme from anything I've eaten here in the States. I mean, it's spicy, it's sour, salty, and then the sweetness of the rice, wow, very good. I really can't see myself not enjoying many of the things that they eat in the Philippines. I really can't. It, it all looks so good. Some of it's really basic. And some of it's very elaborate. The only thing I have a problem with is a little thing they call balut, which is a duck egg that has the embryo in it. It's a little baby duck inside the egg. And I realized one day, it's not the baby duck that freaks me out so much. It's the egg itself. Because that thing is carrying life. So it has to do certain things that an unfertilized egg doesn't have to do. And it looks like there's veins growing through it. <coughs> and it, it looks hard. It looks really, really hard. Like, biting into it would be a task. Um, I've mentioned before I'm a slave to texture. And I think that texture might weird me out a little bit. But other than that, I think everything else is a go. Because the state bird is swine, for crying out loud. I love pork, so... Any pork-based dish is fine by me. And then you've got your other meats like beef and chicken. I mean, what's not to like, you know? You have noodles, rice. Rice, they make like 17 different ways. You never get bored of that. One of these days, I'll make it out there. Will I come back? I don't know. Guess it all depends how it works out there.
one of the first things I remember Eileen telling me was there, they don't care about name brand clothes or brand new clothes for that matter. Purses, jewelry, all that stuff is like a distant thought. What they care about, food on the table, shelter over their heads, clothes on their back. I was immediately taken in by that. I love that concept. Here in America, people get really, really bent out of shape over name brands, conditions, biggest house, fanciest car. I listen to videos of American women talking about what a guy has to have in order for them to be even remotely interested. And the first thing they say is, he's got to have at least a six-figure income. Well, you planning to do some spending or what? Golly, six figures. So the poor schlub breaking his back, making 20000 40000 a year, who's an honest man, a good man, he'll treat you like a queen, ha owns his house, owns his land, his car is a beater, but it runs, and he makes sure it runs because he's a, he's a mechanic, he's good with his hands. That guy doesn't stand a chance. But the guy with the six-figure income, who can pretty much buy any woman he wants, my apologies to any woman who cannot be bought. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, they think they stand a chance. A lot of these girls that are demanding six-figure figure incomes, six-figure men, six-foot-five, chiseled chest and all that, look at them. What do they bring to the table? Not much. I admire their standards, I admire that they don't settle for just anything, but that's going to be a long road waiting, man. You better know some tricks, that's all I'm going to say. I think a girl who wants a guy with a six-figure income, the last thing on her mind is cooking, you know, making a home. She wants that ready-made stuff she can just step into. But I'm telling you, some of these girls don't look like they got it together at all. I got a butt, I got boobs, I got a cooch. Every woman has that. There's nothing special about you. Oh, you can't handle me. What's the handle? What's the handle? You're, you're a woman just like all the rest of them. The only thing about a woman that I don't think I could handle is if she was a serial killer. If she killed her last five husbands and I didn't know about it? Or, well, if, if she was really a guy. That would be heartbreaking. But guys are the same way, though. That's why there's so many suckers out there. They see this woman who's, like, unbelievably made up and, and boobs out to here and perfectly white teeth and she's she's uh, 10 out of 10 all day in some people's eyes not in mine and and this schlub rates a 2 at best and he thinks this girl ain't got nothing better to do but to chase him you gotta know your limits man I did I did I had lots of girls sending me messages before hey handsome Hey, sexy. Hey. Sounding like we were trying to pick up somebody in a bar. Okay? That, those are lame. Those are guy pickup lines. They don't work on guys. Unless the guy is so delusional that he actually thinks he's sexy and handsome. I do not. Ever. So, no, that doesn't work on me. Look, 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 take all my money. It's stupid. Stupid, man. So stupid. In fact, when I first saw Eileen, the first time the first time I saw her in a, in a video, she asked if we could video chat the first time we talked, and the first time I saw her, I was like, like gasp, like, <gasps> she's beautiful, and then right away, I thought, oh, man, she's trying to scam me. <laughs> My apologies, but that's what I thought. 
I said, oh man, she's too pretty for me. And then, lo and behold, she she had the same feelings I did. Thank you, God. So, yeah, what was I going on about? Oh yeah, girls wanting guys who read up here when they're down here somewhere. They just think they're all that. It's like, girl, know your limits, man. Know your limits. Actually, that whole conversation started about the simple lifestyle of the Philippines. And I'm sure in some areas there are people there that like, you know, the Gucci handbags and the, you know, Louis Vuitton and, and Prada shoes and probably got, like, apartments that are phenomenal. But that's not... That's not Eileen. That's she's she's a girl who wants her basics met. She always tells me about the simple life she wants to lead, and I am in love with that idea. I really am. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Have less, be happier. Less stuff to keep up with. You know, have your basics in line. Sure, you afford yourself a few luxuries now and then, but they're not necessary. So, I guess I'll wrap this up for now. It's already 17 minutes. Anytime I can get it under 20, that's great. Take one more bite of egg for you. That flavor is mad incredible. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Like I said, mahal ko kay kayong lahat. I memorized that before I got on here, and then now I'm kind of like, what, what? I hope I said that right. But yes, you all take care. Stay fed. Stay blessed. And I'll be back as soon as possible. Thank you. <laughs>